okay this is the interface uh, of the tornado here you can load presets do your own programming um, there is a lot of tabs uh, i will use only the motion here but there are other functions that i may cover on a further video uh, oh by the way here i need to load come on that's not good for a demo okay okay let's stay here well um motion detector keyboard okay let me turn this on and as you can see um so basically the glove detects motion you have three axes per glove uh for this demo i will only use x and y from both gloves um also this gloves version has a single uh pad let me show you here with buttons and switches um and the last version has two pads uh one on each hand and there is also an optional foot switch as well so you can program these buttons to send me the messages or to control uh gloves functions like turning on off a particular control stream if you look here uh now there is no activity and with the buttons i can turn individually uh, the streams so you can have for example the first slot sending one cc the second sending another cc cc etc and then you can turn them on off uh depending on what you want to do and in what part of you your show you are um so for this demo also i will use this synthesizer this is the mid lip i think now is discontinued so if you didn't get yours i'm sorry for you because this is an amazing synthesizer uh, with a very small uh, footprint uh, very cheap and a huge and unique sound okay this right okay so uh, i will also use ableton live here in ableton i have uh, one track um, that has an instrument rack that sends notes to the mid lip triad uh, here i have a clip single clip oops sorry a single clip with a single note um and this will go through this arpeggiator and other plugins i will expl explain in a few seconds um so i first need to change my preset here and turn off this glove okay so okay let's press play here and let me change the camera to this one okay so um i program this button here to act as a gate um for the midi notes that goes through to the me blip so if i press this and it's supposed to start sounding ah, let me lower the music okay listen This acting as a gate then the third button and i also uh, did program this button to transpose uh, the notes and then uh, the x axis this movement i'm using to control three parameters uh, from the triad remember that you can layer several parameters uh, you can even layer several parameters to a single fx slot and also with different response curves uh, curves you can do all that from the editor uh, so this is how the globe controls the three parameters from the miblip And then on the Y axis, I'm controlling the echo effects. That is a new effect uh, that comes with Live 10. I'm controlling this macro. Here you can see it. And this macro is raising reverb amount and feedback amount. Let's listen how it. It's a slow effect it's to create clouds. Then uh, on the 
on the right hand I'm controlling these parameters here this is the uh, the core plugin and what the core does is to add uh, notes extra notes uh, with a given interval uh, shift 1 and shift 2 and that is what I'm controlling with the right hand no it's supposed to start moving okay like that so on the X I control the first interval and on the Y I control the second interval and now I show you how uh, this affects the the notes that goes through the appreciator and then to the mid -lift. also I'm using this uh, scale here to put rogue notes back to scale in case they they leave the scale and this is the gate I'm controlling this button so listen how this glove now affects the notes that are coming to the mid -lift. So I also for this demo I will use this keyboard to play a bass. The bass is from the analog, a great synthesizer from Ableton Live. Let's see. So let me change the camera and I hope you enjoy the demo. <laughs> <laughs> 